Hey guys, let's get more news from Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Recently released kicker may fit Steelers list. Adam phrased his tweet perfectly. Surprise is the right word for this news. On the surface, it appears to be a salary cap move. Brandon McManus was set to enter the fourth year of a four-year slash dollar 17.2 million contract. Denver awarded him $6.5 million guaranteed upon signing and $9.5 million total guaranteed for the duration of the contract. Determining whether the salary cap economics are worth losing the production McManus provided for the Broncos is something general manager George Payton and new head coach Sean Payton must have debated hard. Denver will incur a $2.4625 million in active value charge, but will save a little over $2.5 million under the 2023 salary cap. That should be more than enough to sign a kicker off the street. Age may also be a factor in McManus' release. He will be 32 at the start of the season. Kickers generally have a long life in the NFL, but kicking outside and off in cold conditions is not good for an aging body. McManus' career began in 2014. He attempted just 13 field goals, converting nine of them. The four errors were 53, 53, 41 and 33 yards. In addition to being a perfect 41-41 to -41 in extra points, Denver felt that was enough to keep him as a kicker for the 2015 season. He rewarded them for the next eight years. From 2014 to 2022, McManus is 223-274, 81.3%, on field goals and 277-286, 96.8%, on extra point attempts. In that same period, McManus ranks fifth in the NFL in points scored among kickers. I believe it was a year ago, at this time, that I wrote almost the exact same headline, only it was about Deontay Johnson and his decision to skip the beginning portion of OTAs. People were in a frenzy, and when I say, people, I mean, fans. Why were people upset about Johnson skipping the first round of OTAs? Because this was reportedly due to frustration over a lack of a new contract. I've discovered something over the years as it pertains to the fans and their outrage over a player skipping OTAs, there are acceptable reasons to skip OTAs, and there are unacceptable reasons to skip OTAs. If it's for personal reasons, that's acceptable. If it's just Troy, Palamalu, being Troy, that's acceptable. However, if skipping is used as leverage for a new contract, that's unacceptable. If it's a receiver who skips OTAs for any reason, that's also unacceptable. And you fan, what do you think of the Brandon McManus situation, leave your opinion in the comments.